Welcome to the Weathermatic Tech video series. Today we are installing the SL FSIT. This sensor will give us the ability to see flow, flow rates on the Smart Link network, uh, as well as flow monitoring. That means if there's a line break or a stuck valve, we'll get notification of a high flow alarm from the SL network. Uh, if a valve fails to open, we will receive an alarm of low flow from the Smart Link network. The flow sensor, uh, as with most flow sensors, has to be installed on what's called a meter run. So this means it has to have a minimum of 10 times of the pipe ID upstream and five times of the pump ID downstream. So uh, allow me to demonstrate. We're gonna go ahead and uh, glue this in line now. This is the FSL, SL FSI flow sensor T. Uh, it comes uh, with the PVC T. It also can be disassembled uh, so that you can bleed air out of the assembly. Paddle wheel type flow sensor. The SL FSI sensor provides a digital signal that will accurately measure the velocity of the liquid flowing through the PVC pipe. Uh, these signals are converted by the SmartLink air card with flow monitoring to the network. The sensor is a paddle wheel type. It's easily disassembled for purging air. The sensor paddle wheel will only go back into the PVC T one way and it's also a uh, complete assembly ready for installation. Okay, our main line is inch and a quarter uh, because in this particular water well application, uh, we expect 18 to 20 gallons per minute out of our uh, one horsepower submersible pump. However, our meter run will be a slightly smaller one inch size. Uh, that is faster than our five foot per second velocity limit. However, the, the faster the velocity, the more accurate measurement we'll be able to get from our uh, smaller pipe. So the SL FSI one inch T can actually measure below one gallon per minute in flow rate. You may want to make sure that your friction loss is not exceeded here in this meter run, but it's okay to kind of size down to get that increased measure, kind of a granular measure of gallons per minute. So we're going to go ahead and glue in the uh, T. This can be mounted vertical or horizontal. In this application, we're going to mount it 12 o'clock. It's marked for the flow direction. Two conductors are required to connect the flow sensor back to the device. Okay, we're going to connect that. In this insulation, this wire is going to make a home run right back to the air card. Of course, we keep the polarity correct, red to red, black to black. But also, the important part is notice this is a shielded cable. This is to keep out any electrical interference. So again, we're going to wire that to our leads and make this a home run back to the flow air card. Go. 
So not only do we want to use a good shielded wire, we also want to make a good secure electrical connection inside the valve box. Keep it free of any moisture, a good electrical signal back to the SmartLink air card. So rec we recommend the SL connector, uh, part number SL con, a good uh, waterproof splice, keep the moisture out of the signal so that when it gets to the SmartLink air card with flow, we'll be able to attach it. directly to the inputs. Another thing to keep in mind, we only want to strip off as much insulation as we need inside the valve box to make the connection. So we don't want to excessively strip back our shielding any more than is completely necessary. So we'd like to get our connector wire nut all the way to the bottom of the gel cap for a good waterproof connection. Another note about the wire, uh, you can get complete specifications of the wire on our website, weathermatic.com, but just as a note, uh, 20 gauge minimum, and that'll give you a 2,000 foot run back to the SmartLink air card. We also have a product called Wire Ride. This particular product allows you to get on your master valve wire and jump on that and use that as a communication wire back to the SmartLink air card very useful in retrofits. So instead of having to make a home run with your flow sensor wire back to the air card, you can jump on your master valve wire and run it or utilize the mass existing master valve wire and jump on that signal back to the air card and you can still have a working master valve, a flow sensor, and all that reporting to the SmartLink network.